What's up guys? Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com today with another ROM in a flash review, this time for the Galaxy S2. Okay, so for those of you that don't know me, welcome. This is Mobile Tech Videos. I'm Josh with MobileTechVideos.com, and this is what I like to call a ROM and a flash review. This will be a simple review of a, the top ROM um, of the week or the day or whatever, and I'll review as many as I really have time to and show you guys what to expect uh, experience-wise and talk about change logs, bugs, and uh, fixes and patches and hacks and all that good stuff um, regarding the ROM. Today we're dealing with Lightning ROM version 1.4. 1.5 will be available very soon, but some bugs are still getting worked out. And this is from LightPro. This is uh, LightPro from xdadevelopers.com, and uh, this is Lightning ROM 1.4. Let's go ahead and get started. Now I got my Galaxy S2 in the mail not long ago, and I'm having a lot of fun with it, so check that out. That's the all new boot screen package. I've actually modified this to work for Galaxy S2 as well, and I've written a script to uh, help you guys out with that. I'll show you guys that all in another video soon to come, and I'll drop an annotation in this video so you can learn more about that. I highly recommend that you subscribe to my channel if you have a Galaxy S2 and you are not already subscribed because, um, I mean, this is really the place to be for uh, ROM reviews, how to's, tutorials, and uh, next generation debricking and things like that. So, uh, we really do try to take it to the next level. All right, so uh, obviously to start with, there are beautiful wallpapers associated with this particular ROM. If you go to wallpaper, you actually get a whole section called lightning wallpapers, tons to pick from there. And uh, there's actually a ton of cool ones. In addition to this one, I actually really like the, uh, the processor one where it's getting loaded down uh, right there. Uh, now, one thing you're going to notice for sure is lots and lots of blues are associated with this ROM. So if you're not a blue fan, it may not be for you. Uh, but it is a fantastic ROM for me as I'm a huge blue fan. So up top, we can obviously see all of the, uh, the blue uh, icons. And notification bars, if we pull down, we get nice blue for our five button um, quick toggles up top. And there's a nice little uh, Lightning ROM Galaxy S2 logo at the bottom. That's actually been reduced in size uh, from the original uh, graphic. Uh, 1.4 is based on the KF1 firmware and it has the KE7 modem. Now when it's fully released, we'll see a change to the KF2 firmware and the KF2 modem. Uh, whenever 1.5 is actually available. So let's take a look at our settings and about phone. And uh, we can just kind of verify this here. It's a K KE7 for the modem and KF1 for the build number. And uh, for kernel version, this is a Chainfire's kernel, uh, which is 3.8, and that'll be improved to 4.0. Uh, for KF2 1.5 Lightning ROM. You can also just flash the 4.0 now if you would like to have a more stable kernel uh, as well. Out of the box, two launchers to pick from. I went with Launcher Pro. TouchWiz 4 is obviously also available. I've always been a big fan of Launcher Pro. I really do like uh, horizontal based uh, uh, support for my launchers and I really enjoy this uh, little toggle motion over here. Um, you can check out more on Launcher Pro if you're not familiar with it to decide whether it may be for you and watch my Launcher Pro video there. Um, but yeah, so that, that's something cool to note. Uh, the CRT screen off animation is nice and working great there, as you can see that. And uh, obviously the SGS2 wallpaper uh, is slightly different uh, regardless of what your background is. It's always going to be the lightning. And um, it's actually a good, good wallpaper, so definitely not a, a deal killer there. Uh, battery percentage icon mod up top, so you get the true and accurate battery mod up top. This thing truly does sit battery. Um, I'm at 71% now, as you can see, and uh, I've been pretty much all day long uh, on this, so it probably has about 8 to 10 hours, and uh, only at 71, and believe me, it's pretty new to me, so I've been using it a whole lot. So very fast, very smooth, and so far very stable. Uh, obviously, it's got all the typicals, uh, such as a zip-aligned uh, framework, geodexed system applications. Some of the apps have been optimized, and the framework has been tweaked for more speed and free memory. Um, if we use a uh, little advanced task killer, uh, you can take what you want, by the way. Uh, I know the advanced task killer has lots of uh, talk about whether it's even needed at all. I don't use it for your typical task killer. I use it mainly to kill things 
uh, faster when I need to close an app. And uh, that's what I use it for. So I don't think that I really set mine up. And uh, I'm, I'm not a noob. But uh, so yeah, 606 memory free right now. And I actually have lots of applications on this particular phone. Um, but um, you know, it's it's actually a really nice ROM and I really do like it. It's got the SD card retweak, bunch of uh, kernel tweaks, memory tweaks. Uh, the laggy browser has been fixed. Gtalk with video, which is uh, nice to see. And of course, pre-rooted with BusyBox, uh, which we all know um, is typical with the ROM, but still nice to see. So, uh, as I mentioned, some things to expect for 1.5 will be the change to the KF2 firmware, the KF2 modem, Chainfire's 4.0 kernel, uh, some voice over IP, uh, SIP support, support phone call recording support, and uh, a lot, lot more um, to come in uh, version 1.5, and I can't wait to see that. Um, if we go through the menus, you can see the over scroll, over, over scroll glow effect top to bottom. Nice, nice blues and lots of stuff like that. So it's uh, been great for me with Wi-Fi, great for data connection, even with the uh, KE7 modem. And uh, I'm in Central Texas on AT&T. But um, I've really enjoyed this ROM a lot, and I think it's definitely worth a flash. Uh, at this time, I'll go ahead and power off and... Um, show you guys the uh, power off animation. Now I'm going to have a lot of videos popping up this week for how to root the phone with Chainfire's kernel, how to flash this ROM, how to flash a standard ROM from Clockwork Mod Recovery, how to flash my boot animation, not boot animation, but boot logo package. Uh, so hopefully developers can scoop that up and maybe you know incorporate a pair of LFS that you would like into your packages uh, for you guys that are flashing with Odin. So you can actually make your own pair of LFS and uh, supply it with your ROM and give the users an extended tweak. Um, also, check out the Samsung Galaxy S2 uh, reset download mode jig. Uh, simple way into download mode every time and the biggest benefit obviously is it erases download information so the factory cannot see how many times you flashed the phone and you'll never get the exclamation point at the boot logo uh, as long as you have one of these. You can pick one of these up at my website below, link in the description below and you can pick that up and uh, also you can check out the video here for that as well. So we are mobiletechvideos.com. Be sure to bookmark the site. That's mobiletechvideos.com. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. And uh, we really look forward to adding you guys as um, friends and viewers of the site. So Samsung Galaxy S2, if you're new to the site, welcome. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.